So we are here to find out who are you? Who are you? Do you even know who you are? Yeah. How do we know who we are? How do we know that? What do you base that decision on? Who are you? Yeah, right? The other question that I like to ask, are you living your life? Are you living someone else's life? Are you living the life that you want to live? No. No. Do you know why? Do you want the answer why? Yes. As you said, you know, I'm probably living the life of someone else. Yeah. How does it feel to live the life of someone else? Not good. Uh, Not good. It just, uh, yeah, it just, I don't Empty. feel the satisfaction. I don't get, I don't get the gratification. Right. Right. What's in the way for you to live the life that you want? Ah, good question. So, you know, it's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing what everyone else is doing. Aha. <gasps> uh -huh. uh, doing a job. Yes. Getting my paycheck. Uh, it's the fear. The fear, the you know, the fear that, okay, how do I get, don't do my job, just leave my job, start something of my own, you know, mm -hmm. taking the risk. Right. <laughs> Right. So what that is, what you just identified is called the drift of humanity. We all live in this drift. This drift is of fear, of mediocrity, of being that buffalo. You know what buffaloes do when the leader is running and if they go over the cliff, everybody goes over the cliff. Gazelles don't do that, they stop after the meter goes down. But that is the drift. And we live in this state of fear, state of survival, scarcity. I don't have time, I don't have money, I don't have a relationship that I want. You know? And this is the box that we put ourselves in. Constantly, every day, when you drive in the traffic over there, it's, it's like zombies. We are all on our phones. We don't even connect with each other anymore. It's not authentic. It's not vulnerable. We lack that human connection. That is the drift. And that drift is there in every single culture. It's always been there. We were born into it. Who knows Don Miguel Ruiz? Four agreements. Anybody? I interviewed his son, Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., for my online show. I did the show because of the leadership that I learned in the program that I'm in. He talks about domestication. The drift is us being domesticated just like your pet, just like your cat, your dog, whatever you have. We learn the habits of the culture. We learn what's a good boy, what's a bad boy. Don't cry, don't do this. Stick to your box. Stick to your box, guys. I'm a psychotherapist and I know this for a fact and research says this too. By, by the time we are eight years old, our mind is set in these habits. So, what you are living right now has been set when you were eight. We are in a box and we can't get out of it unless we become aware that there is a life outside the box. Because we don't know what we don't know. So if I don't know that there's something bigger, something free that is full of love and compassion, empowerment, authenticity, generosity and love, I don't live those things. Because I don't know that it's possible for me to create that. That's what transformational leadership is about, is the way you stand in the drift. Think of the drift like a river. 
We are all flailing in it. We are all going down the same river. You are in it, you, 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 we are all in it. But thanks to transformational leadership, I can stand in it now. And I see where the drift is. And I shift the drift every day. That's my mission. I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it every time. I look into people's eyes instead of avoiding them. I forgive. I forgive people. I don't blame or shame them. One distinction of transformational leadership is responsibility. We are responsible for everything that happens in our lives. So changing from a victim mentality, oh poor me, my life is so bad, you know, this thing happened, I'm angry at so and so because they said something 20 years ago, <laughs> right? So we still get stuck in that. That's victim. When we take responsibility for everything that happens in our lives, we stand in empowerment. We are a powerful source for good in this world. That's what it takes to stand in the drift, to do that and to live your life every day like that. So all that starts with the vision. How was this created? Do you want like a logic answer? Or? Uh, no, how, how was this, how did this came to be? Of, a bunch of minds figured out how to take petroleum and make plastic. Okay, yeah. My kids lose it in the couch. Right, yeah, dogs eat it. <laughs> right. All I want to do is find the remote. Yeah, yeah. Anybody else ideas? How, was, how did this come to be? Magic. Magic, yeah? Uh huh. So like thinking outside of the box, so like finding something to solve a solution that didn't exist. Yeah, right? Ideas, original people. Exactly. Yeah, you had the same? Idea. idea. Everything begins with an idea. But how can we have an idea outside the box unless we see outside the box? Because you are limited by your box. My box, one of the things in my box was, was uh, you know, being in bad relationships. You know, being in relationships where I wasn't respected, I wasn't honored as the special person that I have, because my box was, it's okay for men to treat you like that. I did not see outside of that. Same with money. You make money when you work hard. No, that's not true. Money is only a perceived lack of resource. So is time. Time is a lack of a perceived lack of resource. So everything begins with the vision and we stand in the vision. In transformational leadership, we don't live from the past. We don't plan. We don't think, okay, what's my next step? You know, how am I gonna control this? Or what am I gonna do here? What am, how am I gonna make this happen? You live in your vision as, as if it is happening already right now. Do you see the difference? Living from your past, from anger, resentment, shame, from your limiting beliefs versus living from your vision and bringing that into the present moment. So every morning when I wake up, I commit myself to a ways of being, being generous, being authentic, committed to creating a world of love and peace. Because the way we transform everything around us is through our ways of being. So if I, um, let's say that I am feeling disconnected from people, that's one of my things, I feel disconnected from people. The reason why I'm disconnected because I am creating that disconnection. So the way I shift that is I create connection. I create connection. Abundance is created by giving generously, giving abundantly. That's happening in my summit right now. I am giving parent coaching for free, for free, just because I care. And the response is incredible. I reached out through my summit to 450,000 people. And nearly 4,000 people signed up for my summit. I got speakers like Daniel Siegel, Don Miguel Ruiz uh, Jr. And all because of my vision and I stood in that vision. So what are, what, anybody want to share? What's your vision for this life? 
I know, John, you have a vision. I'm picking uh, no, on no, you. So, I mean, uh, what you're talking about is a kind of a realization that I've come to, too, in the, se in the sense of service. Um, this gratific I feel gratification from mm -hmm. service. The service, actually, if, if you have this uh, approach and this uh, service-oriented uh, approach to anything you do, it's not only self-gratifying, but it also is, it, it's useful. You're useful now. Yes. Um, you know, and so these things where you like, you don't know what you're doing, like, I'm gratified from being a service-oriented mindset. And mm -hmm. that service has business value, and mm -hmm. I can find a way to create a system create a vision and, and awesome. create revenue. Yeah. But if it doesn't come from like the ethos of, of, of uh, giving, mm -hmm. right? Like the, that's when Generosity. the world, that's when the yeah. world gives back. Yeah. And, you, know, yep. you are showing your value. Yeah. Right? That, that's you Absolutely. demonstrating your value. Take it from the psycho, uh, like, I guess like the, the metaphysical, just thinking about all these things that could be and applying a service angle. Now it comes back tenfold. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's kind of serendipitous. You can't go in and be disingenuous about your willingness to give. You have to give to give. That's right. it. So, that is exactly one of the distinctions of transformational leadership. It's unconditional love and giving. Give it to people. What you give will come back to you 100%. And I'm experiencing it and I'm living it right now. The drift is, oh, I'm going to give you and then I'm going to expect something back. That's the drift. We want to get out of that mindset so we can have an extraordinary life. So standing in your vision, having a vision, but what is a vision without action? It's a fantasy. Mm -hmm. So sometimes people think like, oh, you know, I'm just going to manifest. There's a lot of this stuff like I'm just going to manifest this thing to happen. I'm going <laughs> to sit on my couch. I'm going to watch this TV and million dollars will going to pop into my lap. Can it be done? No. Are you selling it? Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, bad news. <laughs> so the way we actually make the vision become reality is through committed action, which means you work on it all the time. You breathe it. It's oozing out of your skin. Every action, every interaction you take has to do something with your vision. And that's an awesome life. I wake up every single morning, morning and I'm excited. I, I, like, I have to contain myself in my bed sometimes because I'm like, okay, just take it easy for a little bit. <laughs> but I'm excited to jump into this world and see what I can create, what kind of connection I can make, what can I shift in the drift. Because we need to save souls, guys. We need to save souls, right? Yeah. So committed action, which means Every day I declare something. So I start the day. I'm declaring I'm going to create love in this world. I'm going to create peace. I'm going to create uh, empowerment, generosity. And I'm putting that out there. And whatever I declare, this is what I stick to. This is my integrity that that's what I do each day. And guys, there's a sense of urgency. That's another distinction of transformational leadership. Life is now. It's now. Like how many times like, oh, I'm going to do this thing like, you know, maybe next year or I'm going to start next week or I'm going to, this is one of my, you know, things that kind of my pet peeves is like, I'm a psychotherapist. So people say like, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to wait until I feel like doing it. That's a trap. Do you ask what's holding them back? Well, what if you have young kids, a baby <gasps> Of course, yes. <laughs> Good question. <laughs> you have to wait a little while. Is that, well, that's okay. it is your choice. However, from a transformational leadership perspective, there is no mindset of scarcity. So you get into a space where both and both are possible. It's not no more thinking either or. It's both and. And I don't have kids. My heart goes out to all the parents. I work with parents, but I uh, have a full-time private practice. I'm hiring four staff. I'm doing business coaching program and I'm doing a leadership program that is super intense. And I'm doing all that. So the mindset in the drift is scarcity. I, ha I have no time. I have no money. In transformational leadership, we create that. My coach, Shanda Sumter from the Hardcore Business, is a huge, huge success. Her company is amazing. And she has a little boy, and she does all that. 
it's possible. Because in transformational leadership, 100% is possible 100% of the time. So urgency is, yes, urgency, <laughs> exactly. Get into action now. <laughs> Get into action now. And really living from this place of rather than, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, do something, like I'm going to work so that I can have money and then I'm going to be happy. So it's uh, do, have, be. In transformational leadership, it's the opposite. I'm going to be something first. I'm going to be loving. And then I'm going to do the action of pouring love, unconditional love and generosity. And then I will have abundance in life. So instead of uh, do, have, be, we have be, do, have. And that's where we start in transformational leadership. So I'm going to stick around for a little bit. If you guys want to talk some more about this, I'm fired up about that. Thank you, Darren, for uh, giving Thank me you. this Thank opportunity you. to talk. You guys are awesome.